Can we, yes, let's yes, pray. Yeah. Um, dear Jesus, thank you for this absolutely perfect, perfect day. Um, you answered our prayers in bigger ways than we could have literally ever expected, so much. God. We are so excited to celebrate today with the people that we love the most in our lives. We know that you have put every single one of them here with us for a reason, and we could not be more grateful to just do all of this in your name um, and to start a life of glorifying you. I just pray that um, things go smoothly today, that all of our friends have just an incredible, incredible time, and that they do this in your in your honor. Mm, amen. Amen. Yeah. This is a day that will forever shape the course and trajectory of their lives. Uh, oh, it is in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's like a day. Yeah, floss her teeth. What's the point? I just noticed. I'll talk to you. Few days carry the weight and meaning of this day to witness one of the most beautiful things in all creation. Each from different families, backgrounds, histories, stories, joining their hearts and lives together in the holy act of marriage and creating a new family before their Heavenly Father. My best friend walked through the doors of sixth grade homeroom, number 317, in August of 2004. I was madly in love with you, Katie Lanis. You are not just my best friend, but my teammate, my adventure buddy, my confidant, my joy, and my person. You are beautiful, intelligent, honest, and a truly faithful woman of God who never stops challenging me to be a better man, and yet makes me feel so loved every day through both your words and your actions. I don't know what I did to deserve a girl like you. James, as I think about the first day I met you in our sixth grade homeroom, I can't believe we're standing here today saying I do to each other for the rest of our lives. After all these years as best friends, I'm still in awe that I get to be your wife. <laughs> God created me to be your strength and perfect partner. You are my partner for life. There is no doubt in my mind that God has created us for this adventure. And I am so excited to see what he has in store. Hey. hey. <laughs> so this is the day when you two become one and so you will forever be seen by God, not as two individuals, but as one unit. Do not expect perfection from each other. That belongs solely to God. You need not minimize each other's weaknesses, but always be swift to praise and magnify each other's points of comeliness and strength and see each other through kind and patient eyes. Katie, do you take James to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only for him, as long as you both shall live? I do. And James, do you take Katie to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only for her, so as long as you both shall live? I do. So for as much as James and Katie have consented together in holy matrimony and have witnessed the same before God and these witnesses and have pledged their faithfulness to each other and have pledged the same by the giving and receiving each of a ring, by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel and according to the laws of the state of Connecticut, I now pronounce you husband and wife, you may kiss your bride. For the first time ever, ladies and gentlemen, it's my incredible privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. James and Katie DeNero.
Everything will be alright